The Coriel Institute for Medical Research, located in Camden, New Jersey, has been the world's leading biobank since 1953. Decades of innovative scientific research occurring around the world have allowed for the identification of small changes within the human genome that are linked to common human diseases and drug response. In recognition of the growing use of genomics in medicine, Coriel's president and CEO, Dr. Michael Chrisman, initiated the Coriel Personalized Medicine Collaborative. The Coriel Personalized Medicine Collaborative, or the CPMC as we call it, is a research study that's uh, building a cohort or large group of individuals to study uh, their understanding of genetic information about their risk of complex disease and how it can be used to improve their health. We enroll participants through uh, community events and we've, we've gathered uh, several thousand individuals from South Jersey and the Philadelphia region as well as from other parts of the United States. The CPMC is really the first study of its kind to take a large group of participants, measure a great deal of genetic, personal genetic information about them and then follow their progress and follow their health care over time together with hospital partners. So it's an entirely unique idea. How does it work? The CPMC has multiple components. Individuals must be 18 years of age or older, have a valid email address, attend an informed consent session, sign the informed consent form, and submit a small saliva sample. After enrolling, a participant is required to complete extensive health questionnaires. Once the questionnaires are complete, DNA is extracted from the saliva sample and processed in Coriel's CLIA certified laboratory. Genome analysis identifies sites of variation in the genome, which are then associated with common complex diseases such as diabetes and heart disease, and also drug metabolism. Results are delivered through the secure CPMC web portal and provide participants with information about their genetic risk for common diseases, as well as their non-genetic risks due to factors such as lifestyle and family history. For each health condition reported, participants have the option to view or not view their personalized risk results. We feel like the, the ethical approach at the moment is to only reveal information about personal genomes that is medically actionable. That is information where if a participant in our study knew their status at a given genetic locus, they could take some action to mitigate the risk of, of that disease. Type 2 diabetes is just one example of an actionable condition that the CPMC tests for. Uh, your risk of type 2 diabetes is influenced by not only the genetic variation that you inherit from your mother and your father, but also your lifestyle and your environment. So in the case of uh, a type 2 diabetes risk report from the CPMC, participants will see a genetic risk factor as well as the risk of type 2 diabetes from their body mass index, which is a calculation based on their height and weight. Study participants are encouraged to share their results with their health care providers and to contact one of the CPMC's genetic counselors to help them interpret and understand the results. Throughout the CPMC process, privacy is maintained by barcoding and de-identifying samples, that is, keeping identifiable information apart from sensitive genetic data. In order to fulfill the goal of the CPMC research study and determine the utility of using personal genomic information in one's medical care, participants will be asked to complete follow-up questionnaires about what they did after receiving their CPMC results. The CPMC will have a broad impact not only on study participants, but also on the scientific and medical communities. And a very important goal of the study is to engage and educate physicians and other healthcare professionals uh, about the coming use of genome information in everyday medical practice. And we have some very good committed hospital partners who are uh, very excited about working with us on that. I think the CPMC is contributing broadly to the scientific community through this study. 
Uh, in one way, we are building a large group of individuals that are supplying a really rich set of data to us. Join us as a participant, a healthcare provider, a scientist, or a donor. Together, we can advance personalized medicine today and look forward to its promising future. Thank you.